Hey guys, welcome back to the Kind of Beauty, Cruelty Free, and Vegan Beauty Reviews. I am super excited for today's video because I'm going to be able to do something that I have never been able to do before. I'm going to be reviewing ColourPop and Karuchi's collection called Brown Sugar, and I'm really excited because I don't often get to do entire collections because usually there are at least a couple of products in the collection that aren't vegan, so I can never get the full collection. But every last piece of makeup in this collection is vegan, and I like wigged out when I saw that. I was like, wait, there's no way, because that just seems a little too good to be true. And I went through every single product and made sure that it was vegan, and then I purchased the whole collection, and I was so happy about it. The other thing that I really love about this collection is that it's supposed to be for every skin tone. She designed it specifically so that it would look good on everyone, and I really love that because as much as I love makeup, as much as I love fun things, it's hard to justify buying it sometimes because I'm not YouTube famous. Like I don't have a lot of money to burn and I have to be really careful with the things that I buy. I want to buy things that I can review for you guys, but also I need to know that I'm going to use it because if I know that I don't like it or if I know that there are colors in the in the collection that I just really am never going to wear, then it's a waste of money for me and it's money that I just don't have. I love makeup, but I'm also frugal and that's kind of where I got to be with these things. So I was really happy that this collection was entirely vegan and it's all colors that I know for a fact that I'm going to wear all the time. And I know some people are like, oh, I'm tired of neutrals, but honestly, like you cannot have too many good neutrals in your arsenal because the more you have, the more you start to realize that there are nuances to certain colors. Certain colors have cool tones. Certain colors are warm tones. Certain colors have a sheen to them. Certain colors have like, just all these things that go together really nicely. So I'm wearing some earth tones because I felt like that would really complement this makeup collection and it'll really make it pop. So without further ado, let's get into the collection. And just so you know, if this is your first time here, every single thing I review on my YouTube channel and on my blog is 100% cruelty free and vegan all the time, no exceptions. So in this collection, you get an eyeshadow palette with nine colors in it. You get three cream gel color eyeliners, two lip glosses, and four Lux lips and the Lux lips are in the creme formula which I love I mean I love the mattes but honestly the creme formula just feels like butter it is so amazing I love it so I'm really happy with the formula she chose for this I'm really happy to see the cream gel eyeliners back because I feel like these just don't get enough love and they have amazing formula like these do not budge other eyeliners I have kind of smear throughout the day, especially in my waterline, these do not go anywhere and I'm really excited to try this on specifically. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys in. I want to start with the Brown Sugar Eyeshadow Palette. This is such a beautiful case. Um, I was surprised that it wasn't magnetic, but I mean, that's okay. Oh, I haven't peeled off the uh, plastic yet. Let's do that. Best feeling in the world. All of these shades are so usable. You have such a variety of colors, especially with the shimmery colors in the middle. You can have a nice pop of color on your eyes if you want to have a little bit of oomph. And these colors down here are really nice for if you want to do a little bit more intensity, a little bit more smoky eye. So there's a lot of variety that, that I can already see going on with this palette. And also the other thing that I love is that they have the names underneath um, the shades, which is great for beauty bloggers because then we don't have to be flipping back and forth trying to remember what what the shade names are so I really I really like this so far this looks really nice okay I'm gonna go in with my B06 blending brush from Spectrum Collections and I'm gonna go in with the shade Chai and put that in my crease it looks a little too dark to be a setting color but it's a really pretty crease and transition color it's a very true peach I wouldn't say that it's warm or cool it's definitely very reliably neutral peach but it's not so orange that it's imposing because orange is really hard to coordinate with my olive skin um so i i kind of shy away from peaches but this one is like a perfect neutral shade that doesn't make me look washed out it doesn't make me look you know too pale or you know orange just doesn't usually work with me so that's coming out really nice. I feel like it blended in really easily. I didn't need to put hardly any at all on my brush. So, so far this is going really well. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the second shade, Jamocha, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put it into my crease. This is a very, um, it's kind of like a pinky beige from what I'm seeing. I don't have the ColourPop um, shade classifications in front of me, but from what I can tell, 
yeah, I would say a, a pinky beige. It does have a little hint of kind of a flesh tone to it, which I think is really nice. I have to say so far that this is one of the better palettes that I've worked with with ColourPop. Um, not that any of them are particularly bad, but this one is just so smooth. The colors are going on so well. They're blending in so nicely. And it's funny because at the same time, even though they blend really nicely, they still keep their independence. Like I can still see the two very distinct colors, but they're not imposing on each other. They're not um, kind of trying to take over the spotlight. So I think that's really interesting how ColourPop is able to do that. I just think that that's really cool. Okay, now I want to go in with the color Sorel or Sorrel. I don't know how to pronounce that down here. This is a very chocolatey brown. This is a very true brown. So I'm going to pop that on the outer corner to deepen up my look a little bit. Wow. Do you see how pigmented that is? Like I, I probably patted my brush in there like twice. And there's so much color. I mean, I expect that from ColourPop, but it's still like, I feel like every time I try a new palette, I'm just so wowed by it. They have such amazing formulas for eyeshadows. Like, I always reach for a ColourPop palette when I'm going out, like, because I know that I can trust their colors, like there's no fallout. It gives beautiful pigment. Everyone always compliments me on my eye makeup when I wear ColourPop. I am loving this so much so far. Like, the colors are so beautiful beautifully like layerable. They're so buildable. That's the word I'm looking for. They're buildable. They don't get muddy. They don't kind of run over each other. They blend so perfectly and so beautifully. Like I didn't have to try it all. And I'm honestly like, I'm not trying to like reduce my credibility, but eye makeup is really not, especially eyeshadow is really not my forte. Like I'm really good at eyeliner. Um, I'm good at other things but honestly eyeshadow is one of the more difficult things for me and it has been one of the more difficult things for me to master and this just made it so easy for me to look like I've just been doing this forever and anything that can do that for me is a winner in my book. <laughs> Next I'm going to take this shade chalk down here like ch short for chocolate not like chalk like you draw on the sidewalk with chalk. It's more of like an auburn color. It's definitely a reddish brown. I'm going to take that and pop it on the outer corner just to give it a little bit of dimension. <sighs> so beautiful. Do you see that? Like I barely touched it. I barely put my brush in the pan and it's just like pow color. This is so gorgeous. You can tell there was a lot of thought and purpose put into this and just every color seems to have a very important role to play in the palette and I think that that is just so genius and that Karuchi must have really just taken her time and really thought this out really well. You know, honestly, as I'm sitting here doing this eye makeup, I have to give a shout out to my friend Heather, my best friend in the world, because she was the one who was like, just practice. Like, don't say you can't do eye makeup, just practice. And I was like, no, I just don't look good in eye makeup. I'm just not good at it. And she encouraged me to do it. So Heather, I know that you're watching because you always watch my videos. So thank you. You're the bomb. I mean, you're the bomb anyway, but especially for that reason. Because like, I honestly can't believe I'm like doing eyeshadow right now. Just a little bit of a personal touch to my video, right? Just like a little shout out to my BF. My BFF. I'm really loving this smoldery look right now. I can't, I can't wait to finish it off. So now I'm going to take my Spectrum A07 brush, which is more for patting things on the lid, and I'm going to put this shade Auburn on the lid. I would say that it's not specifically an Auburn. It's, it's more of a rose gold-ish color. I think it looks more pink on the camera than it actually is in real life. Think of the iPhone rose gold, how it's a little bit more pink than it is gold. That's kind of what this looks like. So I'm going to pat that all over the lid. Okay, so that one took a little bit more work to blend in than the others did. I feel like this would do better if I had used my finger. So I'm going to go ahead and try that again. I know some ColourPop shadows just do better when you use your finger. Oh yeah, most definitely. Now it's much more pigmented. Yeah, I found that with most of the shimmery and metallic um, shades from ColourPop, they just, they just look better when you use your finger. This is so buttery soft, like I can't, like I hardly touched it at all and it's like, it's so pigmented and beautiful. This is going to be my new everyday palette. Like I already knew that when I first opened it when I got my package, but now I know for sure. I do want a little bit more sparkle on my lids, so I'm going to put ginger on my lids. This is more of a true gold, but not so gold that it's like a bronzy yellowish color. It's more of a soft gold, kind of like the new iPhone rose gold. That's, that's what this one looks more like. <sighs> Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Can you see the difference between the two? Like this one is definitely more of a, of a lighter shimmer and this one's more of a subtle shimmer. 
So far I've used one, two, three, four, five, six of the six of the nine shades, and I still plan to use one or two more. And it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look overdone, it just goes together so beautifully. You could honestly use all of these shades and it would just create an amazing eye look without looking overdone. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Spectrum Collections A14 brush, my angled brush, and go in with the shade Henna because it's calling me to do a smoky look. This is more of a gray tone color. This is more of like a dark gray and it's really, but it also has a little bit of brown in it so that it's not too cool toned. I love this because it gives a good dimension to my eyelashes. Like if I, if I didn't wanna wear mascara right now, like I could because it's giving a lot of oomph to my eyelashes. Okay, now I'm gonna bring everything down to my lower lash line, starting from henna and working my way back up to the other shades. Look at that, look at that definition. That is so beautiful, oh my goodness. I feel amazing right now. Like I feel like my eyes have suddenly been transformed into like that perfect almond shape, even though I do have very round eyes. So it's kind of difficult to do that, especially without eyeliner. And I feel like my eyes are just like huge right now. I'm amazed, I'm amazed. I can't stop talking about it. This video is gonna be so long. It's gonna be just me singing the praises of this amazing eyeshadow palette. I'm not even gonna get to the looks. I'm not even gonna do the looks. I'm just gonna talk about this for the rest of the day. Not really, I'm gonna get to the lips. I'm gonna go back in again with the shade Ginger and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. That's just screaming to be an inner corner shade. Okay, so far this is what I've got. I'm so feeling this look. I feel like I could wear this every day and never get tired of it. Now I'm gonna go in with the cream gel liners and see what I can do with those. So the cream gel colors come in these little pots. You have to use a brush um, if you want to use these, or you can use one of those pointed brushes, one of those pointed angular brushes. This is the shade Nut. It's a very neutral bronzy color. I'm gonna put this on my waterline, but just kind of like in the in the middle, kind of where you'd put like a white eyeliner to see how that, see if that makes my eyes pop. I'm gonna go in again with my A14 angle brush. Okay, I'm gonna have to do this off camera apparently, so hang tight. Okay, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it gave me the exact effect that I wanted. Um, just kind of like really opening up this inner part of my eyes and just looks really, really pretty. Like I look more awake. The next shade that I have is called Stew. This is a very true chocolate brown and it's very matte. And finally, this is Rum. This is another chocolatey type shade, but it's interesting. It has a little bit of a shimmer to it. It has like, I, I feel like I can see a little bit of glitter in it. So I feel like that's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna do this off camera too, just because it's hard to hold the mirror and like do your eyes and everything. So do you understand? I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So while I was doing that, I was like, oh, I should actually try both of them out. So I put rum on my right eye and I put stew on my left eye. Rum is the more shimmery, glittery one and stew is the more matte one. Um, it was interesting. I thought that rum wasn't as pigmented as I thought it was gonna be. Stew was definitely more pigmented, but it was lighter than I thought it was gonna be. But they still both look beautiful. It, they were really easy to work with. It's really hard for me to get like a good wing with gel liners. I just, I'm more of a liquid liner gal, but these were so easy to work with and they complement everything so beautifully that it was kind of hard to make a mistake. They both went beautifully in my waterline just to really follow through with the, with the wing. It just looks so beautiful and I'm not worried about it, you know, ending up on my face throughout the day because I know that these are going to stay. If that changes, then I'll amend it down below, but I know that these gel liners work really well, especially in the waterline. Okay, now for my favorite part, let's move on to the lips. So in this collection, you get two ultra glossy lips and four, yes, four, Lux lips. I'm gonna try the glossy lips first. This is an interesting applicator. I'm used to the doe foot applicators from them, but this one just kind of looks like more like a brush. You know what? I'm just gonna go through and put on all the lips. I'm not gonna stop in between each one just to get through the video, and then I can talk about them a little bit later.
Okay, so that's everything on the face. I am so in love with this collection. I can't get over how beautiful I feel. I feel like a badass, especially in this dark chocolatier shade that I'm wearing. I thought the lips were just, especially the Luxe lips, they're so buttery and they go on in just one swipe. They feel so good and comfortable on the lips. It's just, there's nothing like the Creme Luxe Lip Formula and I'm so happy that we got four of those in this collection. The only issue that I have with the lips is that the lip gloss Glosses were a little odd. I think I like the doe foot applicator more than I like the brush applicator. The brush applicator was really stiff and I had to like physically like break it up to actually get it to be flexible and work with what I was doing. And I felt like the formula was just really sticky. I've used ColourPop's glossy lips before and none of them felt quite like that. They always felt really comfortable. These two I wasn't really feeling it. It just like the formula was streaky. I think the formula could have been a little bit better, but everything else just blew my mind. I feel gorgeous. Like I'm going to have to take this makeup off because I have to do something else today and I don't want to take it off. Like I feel fabulous right now. Okay, so I'm going to do some arm swatches for you and then we'll be all set. So that's it for my review on the Karuchi and ColourPop Brown Sugar Collection. It retails for $65. If you wanted to get the PR kit, if they still have them, that's $75. Or you can get individual shades as you see fit. That might sound like a lot of money, but honestly, when you're thinking about the fact that you get four Lux lips, you get two lip glosses, you get an eyeshadow palette, and then you get three cream gel colors, that's 10 items right there. So that's an average of $6.50 per item. And that's not even considering the fact that I didn't even and break down the fact that you get nine shades in that palette. So it's well worth your money. I love it. I say go get it. It's all vegan. So have at it. Get any of the shades that you saw here in this video today. I'm just so happy that ColourPop finally made a collection. That one looks amazing on me and just almost all of the shades complemented my skin tone so well and it was all entirely vegan. I don't think that's ever happened before. So bravo ColourPop. This was a great collection. Great job Karuchi. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below, let me know what you liked, let me know what you like me to do differently. As always, everything is cruelty-free and vegan. For more cruelty-free and vegan reviews, go to my website, thekindofbeauty.com. Thank you guys so much for coming by, and thank you for choosing to be kind. Bye!